Trade Ideas users. Uh, it's a little tutorial for new users. I'm going to do a two-part tutorial here. First one's real quick. Many times a new user loads up, and this is the first screen that they see. Uh, it's not all bad news when it's like this. Uh, hopefully you have the green bar. That's the good news with the data coming in and out, and you can see your ping to the server. Uh, very simple. We're just going to grab in the corner here and shrink this window down. Uh, shrink it however you like. There is some different data points that are up here, so you may want to keep it a certain length so that you can see your S&P, Dow, and NASDAQ numbers up there. Uh, from here, you see a number of different tabs, and we are going to now focus you towards the new tab where you can get started with a channel bar. And this is one of the first places that I think a new user of trade idea should be directed. We go to the channel bar and load it from new. Once again, let's do that again together. We click new and channel bar. Channel bar is simply a list of different pre-configured layouts. And what is a layout? A layout is a conglomerate of scans that have been put together for any user to use. Now many users after some time customize their layouts, customize their scans. And that is something we'll get into a little bit later in another video. And there are other videos already done on this that you can look up on our YouTube channel as well. We're just gonna run through some of these channels here for new users, kind of get you started, get the ball rolling, get the information and get the ideas flowing for you. So as I said, each one of these channels is a different layout with a theme and as we kind of scan down, we can see our different themes, trending, going down, explosive winners, trade the gap, swing ideas, weed watchers, squeeze me's for the people that like those short squeezes, high short floats. We've got a social media channel. All right, so there's a lot of different themes here for all sorts of traders through all sorts of plans. We can start here with the social media channel. A lot of times people want to know what the news is. One of the best places to find news is on social media these days. Loads up default the same every time. None of these channels can be altered and saved like that. Every time you click a channel, it will open exactly the same as it did previously. You can, however, customize these windows, save them to your cloud, and then load them from your cloud afterwards, something we'll cover in another video. Now we look at these different windows and each one has an abbreviation in it. We have a T, an S, and an A. T for top list, S for single stock, A for an alert window. Each one of these windows has a different function. A windows are a set of filters and alerts, an alert being an event, a new high or a new low, a new five minute high, a new five minute low, so on and so forth that has to be met along with a set of filters for the alert to occur. With the T window or top list, it is simply just the set of filters that have to be met and every 30 seconds the list cycles through and will drop off stocks that no longer meet those filters and begin to include the stocks that do meet those filters. Now, on a real quick tutorial here, we're gonna go through and just see what some of these filters may be and what these windows are looking for. So just by simply right clicking on the window, going to configure, we will get this configure window up. Here on this configure window, we see summary. We are going to click summary. And it is going to give us what the stock or what the scan is looking for. And we see stocks where the volume is at least 100,000 shares today. The current stock twits activity is at least 750% of normal, where the price is at least 0.2% from the previous close up. And then we have an EPS filter in here, and this is just the hack to keep out the ETFs so that we see stocks only. This here tells us that this window is sorted by relative activity by the biggest of stock twits on top. And so that is why this list here has the stocks in the order that it does. Okay. Here on the single stock window, we have various different pieces of information where the smart stop is. That's here on the chart as well. There's some AI guided algorithm to kind of help guide you in a trade. It is not a sell, it is not a buy signal, just simply an idea, like everything else in trade ideas. We have our float, short float, short growth. So these are some of the things that are in this single stock window here. 
Once again, we can always go to right click and configure, and we can see all the different items, filters that can be added or subtracted to that simply by clicking one of them, going to show column, and then we can order the columns from there. Okay. We're just going to scan through a few more of these channels here and give you an idea of what we have. With the momentum channel, we're going to find what's called an M window, which is a multi alert window. So as we right click for the configure, we can see the strategies here. And you can see one, two, three, four, five different strategies, meaning there's five different alert windows inside this one window, each one with a theme that we can see here. And once again, we can go over to configure and we can bring that up to see what each strategy is looking for specifically. As we scan through a few more of these channels, we can see that there's an EV channel and this is something that we do. We add and subtract channels based on things that are relatively important or changing with the times. At the moment, obviously electric vehicles have been a hot topic and some hot stocks that have been traded. And so these lists here, the T list and the M window, multi alert window, are pointed at stocks that are specifically related to electric vehicles and or their batteries. We can scan through a few more here. We can expand this window just like any other window. And we can see down here we have people that want the gaps. We trade the gap here. Again, top list and multi alert windows for you. Another window that is very much of interest for a lot of people is going to be pre-market. Where is you pre-market? Here we are pre-market and I can't speak for any of the other trade ideas, educators or users. However, this is pretty much the scans that I use when I am looking for things in the pre-market. Uh, it's very simple, straightforward. You have your pre-market gappers up and down. This is another multi window here. We right click, we can see the strategies, pre-market high strategy, pre-market low relatively high volume and moving up in the pre-market kind of covers all your bases if you will a last channel that I like to hit is our traders vault this is going to be a conglomerate of stock scanners that have been put together by the different trade ideas educators and traders these are some of their favorite scans some of my favorite scans here and same thing with any of the other ones we can right click on any one of these and get a configure window and see exactly what these are looking for. In here inside the configure window if you're feeling ambitious click through each one of these tabs and you can see how you can alter or add alerts and filters all through here. Simply scroll through look at all the different data points that we have you can click on it and look add alert and now we can see that this alert here is in the selected alerts tab as it switches to us to that. We can do the same thing here. If we scroll down far enough, we can come across any filter, click the filter, add the filter. It'll bring us to the window specific filter. And from here, we can add minimum and maximum values to any of the filters. These are all things that are covered in other videos, and we may come back around and cover them in some different videos. It's just a little something to help new users get started pointing in the right direction find the data they're looking for, find the scans that they're looking for. All right, thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.